wine. Now here we go. Hey guys, it's time for another rewind. And seeing as it's uh, towards the end of October, Halloween is coming up, I thought I'd do a Halloween related episode. And of course, you know the music. It is The Addams Family, the 1992 platformer from Ocean. Uh, this wasn't just an Amiga game, this was a multi platform. Um, and to be honest with you, I remember being envious of one of my friends that had this on the Super Nintendo. Uh, and I thought it looked better on the Super Nintendo, which was weird because uh, I was used to the multiplat games looking and playing better and even sounding better on, on the Amiga. Um, really good example of that is the Chaos Engine. Anyway, on to the game. There we go. I do remember a couple of little bits and pieces from when I used to play this as a kid. This was actually one of my favourite Amiga games. Um, I used to complete this a lot as well. That's a sign of the times, isn't it? You know, we don't put games on anymore and sit down and complete them in one sitting. You know, it is a you know a much longer drawn out affair now. Oh my god. This could be the shortest episode yet, if I can't get out of this chimney. This isn't just me, by the way, being crap. Um, the controls are horrendous. I'm not just saying that either. I will go into... The, oh, there we go. I will go into that now. It seems to have a weird kind of skiddiness whenever you walk and when you jump it's like you've been pushed back by some invisible force. So like when you walk forward you're going too fast and when you jump you're getting pulled back almost. It's like having a, a bungee cord tied around your waist. Okay, what is this? I seem to remember this being one of the levels. I know there was an outdoor level. I think that was um, the Grandma Adams level. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the basic gist of the game is the um, Adams family are all... I don't know if they've been kidnapped or if they're just residing in different parts of the uh, house. I'm going to go ahead and say they've been held against their will. And Gomez is the only one that still has his freedom. And so has to go around the uh, wacky Adams house to rescue everybody. And as you can see, the uh, inhabitants of said wacky Adams house are obviously out for Gomez's blood. And these include bats, rabbits, um, weird gargoyle heads that fly all sorts I can't believe how bad these controls are the game doesn't actually look too hard like I'm looking at the enemies and they're just moving from side to side and I'm like yeah I can easily jump on that but when you actually go to do it it's another thing completely, like you get halfway through the jump and you're thinking, shit, I'm not going to make this. Okay, where are we? Can't go that way, must be this way. 
Oh. I'm never back at the house again. What a pointless level that was. Well, I guess we'll go inside. Waste of time. Wasn't even anything worth collecting down there. So yeah, it's a bit like Mario 64 in the sense you go in the house and there are different doors you can go in that have different worlds, levels behind them, I guess. Hmm. So this room seems to be based on outside again. Oh, the hit detection seems a little off. On top of the bad controls we've got unreliable hit detection as well. Those two things working in tandem together are usually um, deadly in finishing off games. Oh, I thought he could collect those. My uh, frustration levels with this game are rising really quickly. I thought this was going to be a really nice, chilled out, simple game. And a game that I thought was really easy because I used to complete it all the time. But it's uh, proving me wrong guys, it's definitely proving me wrong. So, uh, answers on a postcard, what room of the house you think this is supposed to be. roots going down the walls. I guess with the tomatoes it's supposed to be some sort of greenhouse maybe? Conservatory? Your guess is as good as mine. I guess it's just another chance for the designers to use the uh, rabbits as the enemies, right? Collected a pair of Gomez's famous turbo trainers, which make him run really quick. Just when you thought the controls couldn't get any more difficult, they uh, speed it up for you. I wonder what he's doing down there when he's behind his arms in the crouch mode. One thing I do need to bring up uh, in this game's credit, just while um, it's fresh in my mind, is the uh, game designers have done a really, really good job of um, representing Raul Julia as a game sprite. And look at that. I don't think they could have done any better, you know. So I remember there being like a, a level of this game based on like a, a sitting room, lounge, I remember there being like a kitchen maybe, something like that, um, but I'm, I'm clueless as to what this room is still. Let's get through this door, them guys with spikes on the head are a bit unfair aren't they? just such a challenge to, to kill anything in this. It must look like I've never played a game before in my whole life. And uh, I have. And more specifically, I've played this game before in my life. Countless times. Oh. All the slipping and sliding is... Um, really starting to frustrate me. So tempted to go through that quit door. Actually we should probably quit because I don't want to do that level again. Okay, here we go. 
get straight in the house this time, straight through a different door. Let's go for one on the left this time. Let's go for this one. Ooh, now I do remember this being the boss music. But wait, we're outside again. What's going on? Oh, we're definitely outside this time. State of that tree. It's huge. Are you telling me that you couldn't think of any more rooms of a mansion? So, two of them have been outdoors. Oh, and you see the hit detection on that? That was ridiculous. And this is a nightmare for skidding all over the place, avoiding these demonic skulls. It's like he's bloody spread lard over the bottom of his shoes. He's slipping everywhere. But I hope there's no ice level in this game, or otherwise uh, we've got no chance. The sound effects are funny, aren't they? None of them make me think of what they're supposed to be uh, associated with. When you jump on an enemy's head and it makes that weird sucking pop noise. <laughs> Let someone pull in a bloody lollipop out the mouth. Yeah, I must admit, it's a little bit disappointing going back to this game that I used to love and slowly coming to the realisation that it's crap. Other games that I've um, gone back to in, in this series I've been doing have, you know, held up really well. You know, even Captain Planet held up really well. Especially in the controls department. Yeah, the jump was a little bit stiff, but everything's fucked on this game. The hit detection, the walking, the jumping. Don't make a 2D platformer game if you don't know how to make a character walk and jump. Like They're the two things you need to do. Oh, another life. I wonder if this is a secret zone or something, because uh, two lives in such a close proximity is quite rare. I'm fairly sure this is the Grandma Adams level. She was definitely an outdoors level. Do you know what I mean when you watch this? Like, the enemies aren't doing anything sporadic. They're just walking backwards and forwards very slowly. Occasionally enemies will come out of, you know, the left or right side of the screen and surprise you and steal a heart. But for the most part, the enemies should be easy to deal with. But look at that! A basic rabbit and I couldn't even squash it. That's not me being crap, I swear. It's these controls. It's unbelievable, really. How on earth did I used to complete this in the morning before school? I must have been tearing my hair out. But seriously, like other games that I've gone gone back to, like Epidia, for instance, and I've gone, yeah. You know, this is a hard game, but games were harder back then. Yeah, fair enough. But at least I could get, you know, some enjoyment out of it, even if I was losing. Even if I could play it and think, geez, this is a hard game. But I'm playing this thinking, this 
this should be an easy game, but the controls are what's making it hard. And that's usually the, you know, the worst kind of game is an easy game that's made hard by bad design. A dead end. Ah, little tunnel. Sneaky. This looks an awfully lot like, um, it couldn't be, could it? Oh, it is. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, my heart just sank. My heart just sank. What on earth is this game doing to me? It's like this game, I've brought it back from the dead and it's going to me. James just put me back to death. Just bury me. Bury me somewhere, please. And don't dig me up ever again. If I'd never played this game again in my whole life, I would have probably remembered it really fondly, but I'm ruining it for myself by playing it again, I think. What's in this door? Hey, it's Lurch and the thing. There you go. You've seen the best bit of this game. That's it. This is the best part of the game. You don't need to play it now. Oh, is that all, Lurch? You got nothing else? Your piano needs tuning, mate. Right, another door, another door. Are we going to find an actual room this time? Oh, this must be the kitchen. People spinning round in teacups. Either that or at the fairground. Oh, there we go. Jugs. Is that a fish in a bowl with legs? And a bird. <laughs> Come on, if you're going to animate jugs, you can animate all sorts of other kitchen things. Pots, pans, spoons, knives, forks, dishes. Cookers with flames coming out of them. Oh, a heartless man lurks. Wonder who that could be. Hmm. Little penguins. What are the Adams family doing with penguins in the freezer? Oh, the G. I'll get it this time so we can find out what it does. At least pe Oh, the hit detection then. Come on. I cannot believe that. Bloody jumped on it. Oh my word. Oh and yeah, I asked for this didn't I? About the ice level thing. Yes, the controls are even worse. No wonder they put that bloody invincibility at the start of the level. You need it. Absolutely zero fanfare though. No music, no flashing, no nothing. You know, it's 1992, Super Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog rule the world. You want to make a 2D platformer, cash in on the action, and you make an invincibility power-up that is just the most boring thing going. What's that noise? Oh, I guess that was the game's way of warning me the power-up was about to end. What a terrible sound effect. Just have silence and then some weird... Oh, some weird sound at the end that sounds like that bloody tool chest coming down the stairs in uh, Home Alone 2. To let you know that the power-up's about to run out. I've got to say, guys, I'm, I'm not enjoying this at all. Should we go continue and see what's at the end of the ice level? Oh, it doesn't even start you at the level. Could have just done that before. Bloody hell. 
This game is just toss, isn't it? It's crap. There it is, I've said it, it's crap. Uncle Festa with Abigail. <laughs> I'm not even going to talk about the hit detection anymore. You'll, you'll just see it. Well, I did say I wanted to play something for Halloween, didn't I? And this is as scary as they come. More great uh, enemy design, of course. This is obviously supposed to be the sitting room of the house, so... Finally, we're in an actual room. And, uh, again... And uh, this seems to be populated by more fruit flies. Weird people with jousts, jousters on some sort of ostrich, it looks like, and what look like giant ants on unicycles. Certainly cannot knock those guys for uh, lack of originality. Go on, Gomez, get it together, man. There's just nothing enjoyable about this game. It's sucking the life out of me. I think I might have to uh, call it quits after the next game over because it's becoming clearer and clearer to me that we're not going to make any sort of um, progress here. And I'm only going to uh, make myself upset. Not really upset, but you know what I mean. Part of my childhood here I'm going back to and it's a cold realisation to, to make. Oh, what am I supposed to do there? See this was never supposed to be a um, a series where I would I would rant and call out crappy games. Because uh, let's face it there are too many of those people on YouTube already. You know, this is just me really telling stories about the games I uh, used to play and the games I used to love. And uh, I did used to love this game, I really did. But this is the first one for me where um, I wish I hadn't gone back to it. Maybe the Super Nintendo version is better. I can only hope. But yeah, I do remember the, the last boss of this game. Uh, very vividly as being some sort of judge that throws um, the... Uh, what are they called now? It's not the gavel, is it? Is it a gavel? The little wooden hammers they use? Those sort of rain down on you and you have to avoid them you know what if I could go back in time to myself as a child I'd, I'd shake my own hand because uh, I'm quite impressed I used to be able to complete this maybe this is one of the things that's crafted me into the person I am because I'm quite a patient guy and um, maybe this playing this game and completing this game has actually helped me develop patience in my personality. I'm only joking, but you never know, I suppose. So yeah, you know, not even the sound effects, the music, or any of the character design, uh, character designs, enjoyable really, apart from maybe Gomez. And I suppose that little moment with um, Lurch and the thing at the piano, that was that was good. <laughs> really falling through objects now. Okay, it's time to turn this game off, isn't it? Let's go and dig a, dig a grave to chuck it into. Man, I'm so disappointed. 
Oh, I am still trying, guys. I swear, I am still trying. It's just not going my way. I have got a couple of other um, Halloween themed games that I used to play, so let's hope that those are better. One life left and I'm probably going to make this my last. In fact, I swear it's going to be my last. No more Adam's family. No more. No more Gomez. Hey, a ghost. In the front room. You could have just filled the whole house with those, really, couldn't you? Just have that as the, the only enemy we face. Ghouls, zombies, those uh, moving tree guys, all good. Bats, good. Ghosts, great. But some of the other enemies, like this guy, what the hell? Penguins again. Why have you got a freezer full of penguins that hate you? Ooh. Ah, oh, no. I'm not going to moan about it. I'm just going to turn the game off. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching. You don't need to go out and play this game now. Cheers.